fishing all of the time. Baby going fishing too. Bet your life, your sweet wife, catch more fish than you. Many fish bites if you got good bait. Oh, here's a little tip that I would like to relate. Many fish bites if you got good bait. I'm a going fishing, yes, I'm going fishing, and my baby going fishing too. Hi, welcome to The Fishing Show. I'm Rich Hall. This is Mike Wilmot. What we're going to attempt to do on this show is to capture all the excitement and the intensity of fishing for the big ones, but not get too far away from the real problems of the world. That, that's right, because we realize people watch fishing shows as a, as, you know, a visual escape. Right. They live uh, vicariously through the show. Right. You know, because just outside of their windows is the most polluted, congested, stressful, fucked up world like it's always going to be. And they end up resenting guys like Rich and I for being out here on this pristine lake right in the middle of Mother Nature's Wonderland. So as a service to our viewers, uh, we're probably not going to catch any fish because that would just be rubbing it in. But we do have uh, lures, and they are going to be in the water. And if uh, we do catch one, it'll be by accident. Yeah, but we'll just treat the fish like a, like a guest. That's right. We'll bring it on board. We'll, you know, admire it. And, and then let it go. Let it just go. let it go in its way. Off you go. Yeah. Because the trouble with most real fishing shows is... The hosts are very confident. They have a tremendous amount of expertise. But these shows are fake, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. They're absolutely fake. They're one step above porn. What they do is they tie a fish onto the end of the hook before they roll the cameras, and then they make it look like they caught the fish. And real fishing isn't like that. Real fishing is graphic, and it's very unpredictable. For instance, here's Mike catching a big pike yesterday. Watch. So the guy says, King Kong balls? I thought you said ping pong balls. <laughs> so the anthropologist misunderstood what he said. Yeah. It was a real awkward moment. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's right, you her fight back. Oh, you mother baby licking face. I'm gonna take you out of there. That's right. Fight me, you you water breathing scum bad baby son of a I didn't take you to the latest. That's right, you son of a I'll show you a fight, you miserable little I'm gonna bring you on board. I'm gonna Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. You miserable pieces. I'm gonna stuff you with a smaller fish and I'm gonna eat both of you. I'm your god! Bow down to me! Whoa! Killer. Look at that. Look at that. Yep, that's a whopper, all right. I wore it down. You do gotta love this. Oh. Not like the love of a woman. No. It's a, it's a different kind of love no, altogether. No, it's an entirely different kind of love. But it is love. It's love nonetheless. It's a love that uh, you gotta love it. You know, when, when you first fall in love, it's, it's a lot like catching your, your first fish. Yeah. You know, well, you know, you, your first rainbow trout. Oh. Oh, you bring that into the Beautiful boat. speckled thing. And you, and you look at it and you think, how am I lucky enough, eh, oh, yeah. to land one of these, eh? Oh, yeah. And you put it in the car and you, you drive it home. Oh, yeah. Sun beats down on it for a bit. Starts to get a bit stinky, but you don't care because, you know, you, you're still proud to, yeah. that you caught it and it's yours. And sure. Bring it home and, and you marry the fish. Huh? Marry the fish and then that's it for fishing. You can still fish, but it has to be the same fish every night. Day in, day out, same fish. They don't even put up a fight anymore. They hop right into the boat now. Hey, no fisherman would fish if they had to catch the same fish over and over again. Huh? Then the fish's mum moves in. How the fuck am I supposed to pay for that? Huh? I, I don't make a lot of money. This is ridiculous. Then you find out your fish has a gambling problem. 
She says she's going out with her friends, but she's not going out with her friends. She goes, well, I am with my friends. I just happen to be in a casino. Well, that's my point. You're at a casino. I can't afford your mom. I can't afford your mom and the casino. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? Christ, you just want to kill yourself sometimes. You know, I guess that's why I read a lot of this. Hey, that's porn. Give me that. That's not porn. Read Readers' that. wives. Readers, guys, eh? They send in photographs of their wives and tell you what books they're reading. Oh, look at the cover. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, this is Glynis from Lancaster. Says her husband's a big Tom Clancy fan. There you go. I don't like porn. I don't even watch porn. I tend to look at pornography the same way I look at uh, home improvement shows. I'd like to be doing what the guy in the show is doing, but I, I don't have the equipment. Yeah. I made a porno movie once. You? Yep. You did a porn film? I did a porn film. What was that like? Uh, ah, they didn't like me. If anything, you know, I was too professional, you know? I researched the role. I got lost in the character. I knew my lines. She knew her lines. But it's porno, Rich. All they care about is a big Johnson. A big Johnson and staying power. That's all they want. What was your character? I was a pool cleaner. You were a pool cleaner? Yeah. around I notice your husband isn't here and there's no way for you to pay me maybe we could work something out maybe that's nice that's classy Very good. oh now that's nice oh a sea nymph bottle 61A. Nice choice. You know, pool maintenance need not be expensive. We, we have a budget that, you know, suits every income. Use your hand. Thank you. Uh, for instance, uh, well, oh, now this one looks perfect. This is a, uh, this is once a month. Now that's, that's not bad once a month, you know. Uh, Who's your daddy? Oh. Who's your daddy? Uh, the reason I'm asking is uh, uh, based on my business and referrals. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna come back next Thursday uh, once you've talked it over with your husband. But uh, until then, take it. Uh, take it. Uh, in fact, uh, take a few of them. Take a few of them. Uh, show them to your friends. Uh, don't be afraid to phone me. Get in contact with me anytime I'm in the book. Look, I was young, and I needed the money. Love's a strange word, isn't it, Mike? What do you mean? It's a, it's a strange word. The more you say that word, the stupider it sounds, doesn't it? Love. 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 Do you love me? Love. It's a hard word to pronounce, you see. For a man. Yeah. You gotta work that tongue to the roof of the mouth. Love, 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 love. Gasket, that's an easy word to pronounce. Sprocket. Crankcase. Firecracker. Yeah. It's not supposed to be something you can measure, right? Love. Love. I mean, women shouldn't say, uh, they shouldn't wake you up at like three in the morning. It's one of those metaphysical love questions, you know? Wake up. Now, would you still love me if I got hit by a bus? You gotta nip that one right in the bud. No. Stay out of the bus lane. It's love, it's not insurance. You're happily married, yeah? I'm, uh, I'm married, yeah. Yeah, but it's a realistic kind of marriage, right? Very, very. She expects very little from me and uh, receives very little from me. It's Hollywood, you know? Hollywood paints this picture of romance. There's always Tom Hanks and uh, Meg Ryan and, ooh, will they meet? Oh, are they gonna meet? Are they gonna meet? Of course they're fucking gonna meet. It's Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, they're gonna meet. Within 15 minutes of the film, they're gonna meet. Yeah. It was destiny. It's not fucking destiny. They were happy ever after. Not like that with you, is it? I think it is. Well, 
not a not a A film. Yeah. A B film. Mm. Maybe one of those a little bit of a horror movie periodically, but it's still Hollywood. We still have our song. Your song? Yeah, we have a song. What's your song? Hit the road, Jack. Ah. See, I think the more fucked up you are, the more uh, the more women's attracted to you. Yeah. Because women like a project. You know, your well-adjusted guy like you, well, you know, it's okay, but... Oh, yeah, uh, fine. Hitler had a girlfriend. Hitler! Saddam Hussein, tons of girlfriends. Someone was able to look at Saddam Hussein and say, he's got some, he's got some qualities. He, he knits, he he's, sings, he paints, he's something. A good, knitter. good knitter. Hitler. How do you break up with Hitler? That's a tricky one. Yeah, Adolf, I'd, uh, I'd like some more space, preferably before you occupy it. Let me ask you something, pool boy. You got, uh, you got a lot of bad habits that drive her crazy? I, I have trouble with that. What, what is the difference between habits and, and problems? I don't know, like, uh, like your wife has bought a brand new glass living room table? Yeah. You keep putting your feet up on it? Yeah. That's a habit. Okay. Keep putting your nose on it, that's a problem, right? Okay. All righty. And I have a ba I have bad habits. Strange thing, love. Come here, but I go fishing. Yeah. It ain't no crime. Uh -huh. When I'm fishing, I'm fishing after something of mine. Oh, fishing in the dark. Oh, fishing in the dark. Oh, fishing in the dark. Oh, look at that moon. Is that gorgeous? That is nice. Uh, Rich. What? Uh, you've really caught my eye. I like you too, Mike. No, my, my eye. My eye. Oh, you, really, oh. you really caught my eye. Ooh, sorry. Just cast the other way, yeah, could okay. you? Okay. Sorry, Mike. That's fault. okay. Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny. Fish is a lot like romance, eh? Fishing? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, well, yeah, you cast out your line, you, you reel them in. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of romantic metaphors that relate to fishing. Yeah. You know, someone breaks your heart, uh, say, ah, oh, don't worry, there's other fish in the sea. Or you sit around and you bore your friends with stories about the one that got away. Yeah, but then you don't worry about it because, you, you know, you got other fish to fry. <laughs> or, you, or you go down on a woman and it smells Mike, like... Mike! What? Whoa! Oh, sorry, you're right, that's more of a simile than a metaphor. No, you see... You don't need a line to meet women. You need a net. A net? What do you mean? Like if you go out with a woman. Yeah. What are you trying to do? You're trying to get to know her. Right. So why go out with one at a time? You can go out with six at a time. It's more cost effective. I get it. I, I get it. If, if you give a man a fish, yeah. he eats for a day. Yeah. But if you teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. That's not what I mean at all. Yeah, but it's better than that smelly vagina thing I said earlier. Now fishing in the dark, only that mark. So as the paramedics are taking the newlywed couple away, and they're just drenched in blood, drenched, they say to the bride, whatever you do, don't look back. Don't look back. But she did. There was the limo driver. Just a torso. No head. No head. Never did find the head. True story. Right, that's it. I'm off to bed. Sweet dreams, Mike. Yeah. Uh, here that limo driver got his head chopped off in that story by that axe murderer. 
Oh, that's murderer. Oh, a load of horse shit. What happened? Oh, well, you know, I stuck my head out the sunroof. Low bridge. Cool. Boom. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, listen, we, you know, we all do something stupid. What? You've never done anything this stupid, have you? Don't talk down to me. This is so much stupider than the second stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. It's not even worth mentioning. No offense, but shouldn't you be dead? Well, uh, I don't know. Somehow my head is uh, hooked into the root system of this tree. Wow. This tree here? Ow! Oh, Ow! Gee, sorry. Sorry. Ow! Sorry. Ow! Sorry. So, how'd you get up here? Come to Edinburgh? Glasgow? Well, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Right. That's the M9. Over to the A84. I know this country like the back of my hand. Sorry. Yep, I have traveled, my friend. That's good. I've to... been to Canada. Good. I've been to Toronto. Yeah. I've been to Montreal. Oh, I've been. Wow. To, I've been everywhere. I've been to Ottawa. I've been to Regina. I've been to Saskatoon. It's important to travel. Victoria. I've been to uh, Medicine Hat. Medicine. Medicine. Have you been to Medicine Hat? Yeah, well, I, I've been to Medicine Hat I, twice. 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 Yep. Newfoundland. Yeah. Beautiful Newfoundland. Right is. Uh, yeah. Labrador. Mm. Yep. Well, well, sir, you you are well traveled. Yes, I am. Oh yeah. Tell you the truth, I'd be happy if I never had to travel again. I'd like to stay right here. Really? No. Guess you saw right through that one, huh? <laughs> Every day I watch the sun come up right there. Gets right over my head. Then I don't know what's happening. Let me ask you something. What? Off to my right shoulder. Is that a, is that a hedge or a hedgehog? Hedge. Hedge. Yeah. Hedge. Hedge. Oh, God. I'm going to sleep so much better tonight. Nope, I sit here every day, watch the seasons change, day in and day out. And yet, I don't even know what time it is. 4 a.m. That's a nice watch. Well, thank you. It's a very nice watch. Thank you. Well, if a fella had a watch like that, I guess he'd be a lot more organized, probably get a lot more done. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. No, really. No, no. no I insist. No, really. Can no. You... Oh, there you go. Okay, twist my arm. <laughs> that is the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. Post decapitation. Look, uh, I gotta get some sleep, so oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, what time? Uh, around noon. Right. <laughs> see if I can fit you into my busy schedule. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Hey, Mike. What? Just watch. Yeah. Does it run on batteries? No, you gotta wind it. Great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Up this morning before the sun Fixed me some coffee and a honey bun Jumped in my pickup, gave her the gas I'm going out to catch a five-pound bass I still stand by what I said, okay? Give me a handful of hookers, a mackerel, and a bloodhound. Mike, let uh, it go. Any cord oh, Let it go. Any cord in the world. You know, I read this interesting fact in, uh... Over 50 magazine. Mm -hmm. It's a magazine for women over 50. A woman over 50 has a better chance of being hit by lightning than finding a man who truly loves her. What you got to do there is play the odds. You see, you got to uh, you got to increase your chances of getting hit by lightning. Thus, you increase your chances of meeting a man and falling in love. I see. It's all about numbers, isn't it? I see how that works. So, if say you're a lonely, I don't know, widow. Yeah. You wrap yourself in tin foil. Go out on a golf course. Hold a lightning rod in your hand during a thunderstorm. You're bound to meet someone. Yeah. Right? Nice young paramedic. Yeah. Plastic surgeon. That's right. Someone who will look after you. It's all about romance, Mike. That's what it's about. You need to be more romantic with your wife. That's what I you need. You need to go home. I don't know. She comes home from a long day of gambling. Rub her shoulder. It probably hurts. Probably. Write her a poem. Women love poems. Love them. Works every time. Women would rather have a poem written to them than an expensive gift. Really? Absolutely true. I wrote a poem for her once. Yeah? Yeah. It started with, uh, here's that car you've been bitching about for two years. I hope you're happy. Won't you please pick me up at the airport next time then? You're killing me. Every day, little by little, slowly. I'm sorry this doesn't rhyme. You know, anything can become a poem if you, uh, if you approach it properly. 
like you could take a maths book. You know, find some theorems, copy them down. That looks like a poem. Every time you see the word angle, you change it to angel. I compliment you, angel, and define you infinitely. You are my adjacent angel. I denote you factorially. Oh, acute angel. That's, that's really funny, Rich, but don't you have any real poems? Oh, you want something by a professional? Yeah, read, read a real poem. All right. When my love swears she's made of truth, I do believe her, though I know she lies. This is Shakespeare. That she may think me some uncertain youth, unlearned in the world's false subtleties. And yet, I travel forth, unaware of her beauty, and she, uncertain of mine. And then, the green bow of spring unwraps itself, and a yellow ribbon forms around the old oak tree. Whoa, 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 you son of a Come to me, you sister That's right. That's right. I can see your eyes. You're mine. You piece of sh You're a And I'm a pimp. Then I'm going to fill you full of Drano, just like a dirty, hairy, you stupid I'm gonna take you home. I'll take you home and I'll stick you on the wall. If you've got I'm gonna you know, that's what I'm gonna do. You dirty little fish. Well, there goes the heart on. The blood is moving. Hey. Tell you, been looking forward to this for weeks. Fishing with Jermaine Greer. Yeah. This woman has been on so many talk shows, it's ridiculous. Yeah, she's a tennis player, right? What? Tennis player. Didn't didn't she play Norman Mailer in the 70s? The battle of a sexist thing? No, 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 no. She's a feminist. She's a radical feminist. Older woman. Female eunuch. Wrote the female eunuch. Female eunuch? Yes. She's a bit lippy and a bit randy. Lippy and randy? And then she's like 65. It's, a, it's, it's this odd kind of uh, sensual appeal. I can't quite explain it. And she's hot. She's hot in that weird kind of way when you look at a, like a 65-year-old woman and you think, that could be my grandmother, but she's still hot. Makes for some interesting... Uh, Wet dreams. What's a eunuch? A eunuch is like a, a horse. It's like a unicorn, but without the horn. Okay, I get it. Jackass. You're going fishing, Jermaine. Okay. Excited? Well, I don't like freshwater fish much. They all taste of mud. Well, we don't have to eat them. Watch your step. We're supposed to put them back if we catch anything, aren't we? Yeah, we'll put everything back. It's all catch and release. It's more humane that way. This is Mike. This is Jermaine Greer. Hi, Al. Hello, Jermaine. Okay. So Hang we just rip that lip off and then put them back. Yeah. Now, Mike and I have been discussing that uh, the fiscal responsibilities of being in love. Right, Mike? Mike's married. Yes. Quite happily. Very happily. Everyone's married very happily until it's over, and then it turns out it was a nightmare the whole time. So I don't necessarily believe that. Are you in love with the person you're married to or with somebody else? No, I'm in love with the person I'm married to. How did you manage that? Uh, she picked me up at a bar, and I've been with her ever since. Are you in love? No. But you have been. Well, I've made a fool of myself a few times, and I've been obsessed a few times, and there's been a few unsuitable objects of my passion and all that. Um, but I generally get over it. And do you find it costly? Mm. <laughs> In any manner of speaking? Well, it depends. Yes, it can be extremely costly. In this country, it costs something like 20,000 pounds to get married. I don't quite understand why it has to cost so much money. So if you were to get married, you would not do that? I did get married. And did you do that? Mm, no. But it didn't stick either. I was only married for three weeks. You were married for three weeks? Yep. What happened? Who dumped who? I ran away. What did he do to you? Sure, oh, he bored me and annoyed me and frightened me. And that was week one? He also humiliated me. Will that do? That was week two? It seems I wasn't tough enough. I should have smacked him around a bit more. So is it, it possible to be in love and not spend a lot of money? I've never expected a man to keep me. 
And I've never really objected to keeping a man. Have you kept him in? Yeah, I think so. Pay for sex? Well, you don't have to pay for sex in any very obvious way. I guess you know what the next question is going to be. Where am I worth? Go on, take a good look. Drink me in. Drink me in, Jermaine. I think you'd be really tricky. So are we talking about? I think you'd cause quite a lot of, of grief and heartache. I think you'd be unreliable. I think you'd be very easily bored, restless. And you'd probably like mm. liquor better than sex and fighting better than both. No, I don't like liquor better than sex. You like sex better than liquor? Yes. Liquor and sex is <laughs> 250,000 pounds a year, you'd cost. But I Hello. certainly couldn't afford you. No. But are you good in bed? That's the thing I don't know about. Well, that's going to cost you, Jermaine. What to know? <laughs> Just shut up and fish. <laughs> but you'd have to work really hard, you know. What would I have to do? Well, what do you think? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Sex slave? Something like that. 250 grand, though. Mike. Right. Mike. I'm just thinking it over. That's I've all. got the offer now. Okay, you. all right. Well, Jermaine, I'm going to have to turn down your offer. Oh, I didn't really. I just said what I'm it worth would more. cost. What is, I am worth more than 250,000 pounds. Um. I'm a man. You cut me, I bleed. I cry. I am, I said. <laughs> but no one heard. Okay, the, Renee. The chair. Renee Descartes. Descartes? It's Neil Diamond. <laughs> little Scottish cheating song. Baby, I've been reading your phone bill. I got to ask it point blank. Who the hell is Kirk Caldy? Who's Clyde Bank? Glenn Roberts, Jed Burr, you've been sowing your wild oats. I don't know no Kyle of low cash. Who the hell is John O'Groats? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby. You got to give me a chance. You've been running around kissing every lone head in Grange Mouth. Getting in somebody's Preston Pants now. I've been nervous. I'll admit I've been nervous. But I ain't never been this nervous before cause I done noon if you're coming back, baby. Every time you walk out the door, I think you're gonna leave me forever more. And ever more. Skip it about. Zip it up. Sounds like scat singing just the names of Scottish towns. I think you better mull it over. I'm kin tired of this ruse. I can't go on much longer, baby. Jury gonna give me the blues. Fight done anything wrong. I wish you'd tell me true, cause I'm shedding bricks, baby. Loathing the day I ever said hello to you. Well, you've been fishing all the time. I'm a going fishing too. I'll bet your life. And what are you gonna do, Mike? Love. It is what it is. It's like Lord Tennyson said. Better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Keep in mind when someone says that to you, you're talking to a loser. You should find someone who's never been in love and get their side of the picture. I'm sure they're happier than hell. How come we never catch any fish? 